In this reading from Matthew chapter 5, this is right after the Sermon on the Mount, right after the Beatitudes, Jesus is constantly changing the bar for which we judge ourselves. He says, unless, you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Well, on our modern years, that sounds pretty good because, well, the Pharisees and the, the scribes were the bad guys, right? But righteousness means being upstanding and being following all the rules in the eyes of God. Self-righteousness is following all the rules that we impose on ourselves. Self-righteousness is not something that we want. Righteousness is something that we want. So it seems like a pretty low bar. You need to surpass the baddest guys in the land. But because righteousness is something that God sees, he raises the bar even higher. The word raka, whoever says to his brother, raka will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And raka is one of those, R-A-Q-A, is one of those words that for some reason stuck in the translation when they moved from Aramaic to Greek to now English. And raka means calling someone, you're empty inside. You're stupid and you have nothing inside you, nothing of value. It's all right to be angry with our family members, with our brothers, with our sisters, mothers, fathers, grandmas, aunts, uncles, friends. It's okay to feel that anger, but when we let that fester and when we let that rule inside of us, then our righteousness in God's eyes goes down and we become like the Pharisees. So Jesus talks about reconciling and he talks about forgiving. We really, as Catholics, as Christians, the closest people in my life that I can think of right off the top of my head, that I would want to call raka, that I would want to call empty, foolish, stupid, and full of no sense and no worth, those are the people who are some of the closest Catholics that I know, some of the best Christians that I know. So because we are all approaching this altar tonight to receive the body and blood of Christ, we have no right as Christians, as sons and daughters of God, to call our brothers or sisters empty, stupid, raka, bereft of all worth. We have no right to do that because they also are right next to us in the pew, eating and drinking the body and blood of Christ. So, as frustrating as our closest people in our lives can make us, as frustrating as our spouses, mothers, fathers, grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles can make us, we need to con continue to remember that they are full. They are full of the body and blood of Christ. They are not raka. They are filled to the brim with God's grace and God's love. This changes how we look at everyone, and this also changes how we look at ourselves. Because it's easy to call ourselves raka. It's easy to call ourselves stupid, or call ourselves uh, bereft of any worth and diminish our own dignity. But ourselves and the people who are receiving next to us in the pew are all full of the body and blood of Christ, the feast of heaven, and the blessings of eternity. As we go forward in this ordinary time, Easter, Pentecost, Ascension, it's all over now. Now we're in the green, the growing stages of ordinary time. Let's keep in mind how we can focus on the fact that we are filled, and everyone in the pew next to us is filled as well with the saving body and blood of Jesus Christ. Amen.